to get clear? You, you do what? I do what? What did you do? What did I do? Yeah, just tell me. Don't worry. I'll just send it to you. I, I won't even post it or anything. I'll just send it to you. What did you say you did? I spent two years in each Christian denomination to find out who was for real, who was not, um, where they are, what's going on, and, uh, you know, basically, who's doing what? Who's doing God's work. Okay, and who is doing God's work? It, it's not dependent upon an organization or uh, an individual church, really. It's the, it's the people. Okay. There's people. There's people in each one of those groups that are dedicated to really helping people. Then there's a lot of freeloaders, and then there's a lot of people who want to do it for the namesake. Um, and then there's people that want to fight over whether Adam has a belly button or not. Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter what the denomination is, it's just the man, man, of people who run it. Yeah, and the, okay. people, the people who are involved in it and signed up. Uh, and the, the system, some systems are more open to, to helping people, um, uh -huh. but it, it really depends. I wouldn't say any denomination or a particular brand of church is really more than less, but there are some things within the structure of those systems or those church systems that do obstruct the actual helping of people. Which is what? The corporation sucking all the money out of it? No, that's the, 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 the corporations don't suck the money out of it. The corporations are basically the board members of the church. And? The, they And so they want to say how the monies are spent, and they're the ones basically, um, they're the ones that are calling the shots and saying this is God's word this is not, and it's up to the pastor to sit there and, and interpret it by scriptures to, and, and back up what these corporate guys are saying. Okay, so so uh, um, so the, isn't it a, how does that work then? I mean, is it God's work having a bunch of people make all these meetings and no. decisions and hanging no, out or no, what? No, no, no. What's the deal on that? I don't get it. Is it a, is, what's so political about this, this helping people thing out? Well, because the, 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 it satiates their conscience. People want to help. You know, that's where you got to decide whether you, where their intentions are. They'll tell you. A lot of these people say, "Well, our intentions are to help people." But the thing is, if they're really out there to help people, then they wouldn't be side skirting it with all these political dramas. They'd be actually out there helping people. But they're, what they're doing is they're arguing whether this is God's work or that isn't God's work, and it should be plain as nose in their face what is actually God's work. It's just helping people. Okay. <laughs> you know, and really, and sometimes, yes, it's a matter of giving people a hand up rather than a hand out. But the thing is, is like you have to give people the hand out first before they can get the hand up a lot of times. And they don't want to do that. They're, they're sitting there requiring. So a lot of these Christian organizations, like Teen Challenge, for instance, they basically will make the homeless sit through a sermon and a worship service just to get a meal. That's very common in Phoenix, but I've heard it's very common all over the country. It's, that's a common practice because, and then you basically, if you convert and you obey the rules of their uh, Christian organization, then they'll get you off the streets. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go through all the hoops. Otherwise, if you're not converted, you're uh, sitting under the tree. Right. They, they Hungry can't, they, and cold. And, yeah, and, and basically, the, the way they put it is like they can't count on you because they don't know if you're committed, truly committed to whatever got you, uh, or you know, on the streets. Basically, if you're committed to, uh, you know, what do they call it? Uh, converting yourself and, and making yourself a productive member of society. So, you know, this is their test, basically, whether you are, you So know, they're playing God themselves? Is exactly. that what they're doing? <laughs> exactly. Well, that's you what I have a problem with that, the corporations and the government bullshit. Yeah. To be honest with you, I mean, they're playing God themselves. We want, we want that land. They're land hoarders. Well, coming back to the people who satiate their conscience, it's just like, there was my, my, I'll give you an example from my mother's childhood, right? My mother and her, and her sister, they both went to convents um, during, in England. Uh, during the war, because that's how the schooling happened, right? So my mother's convent, those were people that they were bitter, they were mean, they were cruel, but the, the whole guise was that they were there to help people and help children and do God's work. But they obviously weren't. But then my, my her sister, my aunt, her convent, those people were caring and loving and comforting and encouraging. And both the same church and, you know, in the same country, the same organization, but two completely different modes of operation. 
not the intention. I bet you both of their intentions were right. They want to do good, but it's how they went about it. How and they displayed the de intention. What, what, yeah, how, how they displayed in the de intention, the role modeling of how, the, well, how God's work is. Right, exactly. Well, it basically, it, 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 whether their ego got involved, because that's what, that's what it comes down to. If our ego is going to get involved, what happens is, is a good intention becomes just another way of us affirming that, hey, I'm a good guy, and I'm going to pat myself on the back, and hey, everybody look at me, and look at all the good that I'm doing. If that's, um, if that's what's really going on, that's not God's work. That's your work. You're right. doing that so you can get the pat on the back, right. and you can feel good about yourself. Right. That's satiating, satiating your conscience, and you're doing it for egotistical reasons. You're uh -huh. not doing God's work. It may look like God's work. It may, you may say it's God's work. You may have all these scriptures that back it up. But basically, it's you. It's you, <laughs> you, 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 you. Go, baby, go. I love you. <laughs> Bye.